everyone, it's Christy with AG Takes Over. Um, today is just a random haul of lots of little things here and there. So um, something from a subscriber, which does not happen very often at all. Um, something that some of you will know has been on my wish list for a while. It's an outfit. Um, some Etsy stuff. Some stuff where I'm already gearing up for Dress Like an AG for next year and some random things I picked up this morning with my little one um, at like a steal of a price and they were not on my wish list at all, but I got them just because. So I'm gonna start with the thing that's been on my wish list and somewhere at the end will be um, the some clothing that I got to dress like my to twin with an AG doll. Um, that'll probably be in a different outfit because it hasn't arrived yet, but the rest of it I'm gonna film right now. And then, of course, any of the outfits that I show you, I'm going to put on a doll at the end so you can see them on one of our dolls. If you have not clicked subscribe, I don't know what you're waiting for, but go ahead and click that button. Or if you are here for the first time, feel free to check out the channel and make sure that it is something that you're interested in and then make an informed decision to click on it. Also, if you hit the notification bell, you will be sure to get a heads up every time I post a video, which is at least once a week. So that's nice. All right, um, I, <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right in. This doll over here is, is um, she's so stunning on her own. I know it's um, kind of like a lover or hater kind of doll for a lot of people, but I love her like a lot. And I, she's wearing an outfit that I've been wanting for a while and holy crap, she looks so cute. So, um, I treated myself to this outfit. It was not like a steal. I know some of you are used to me always getting everything dirt cheap, but I paid regular price for this. Okay. I'm not even taking the glasses off of her because they're so cute and they're part of what I, you know, part of why I got the outfit. So here is Primrose in Molly's Be Forever outfit, which I absolutely love. The person was selling it, not new in box. Um, Grace put an ISO in search of out on some of the Facebook groups and somebody reached out to her and said, I have it. And she had um, the outfit and the accessories and the glasses. And then somebody else came along and said, I have the outfit new in box and I have the accessories new in box, but they didn't have the glasses. And I was like, I would rather get it not new in box, but get these really cute glasses than um then get the new one box so she looks so good primrose by the way is um the shimmering silver doll except for this is our second one i bought her just for myself so that i could cut her hair it's not short right it's just closer to these short parts in the front her actual hair is like down here somewhere so she's got shorter hair in the back more manageable for like everyday looks and then i obviously removed the glitter lip stuff and gave her a darker color. So that's Primrose and she has been sitting on my desk. She has been my coworker ever since she put the, since I put this outfit on her. And just like every time I look at her, I smile. And I, this is the room that I work in. So I'm seeing dolls all the time, but she's like right on my desk right now. And oh, she's so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh, look at her. I just, oh. how could you have a bad day at work? When this is your coworker, like you can't, you can't, even when you're frustrated, you just take a deep breath and you look over and then Prim is looking at you and she's like, it's all right. We got this. It's fine. So, okay. So that is bucket list um, item. I think after shipping and everything, I paid like 60 or $62. So not cheap. Like I don't pay that for outfits for myself. For me, that's a pricey American Girl doll outfit. Like it was a splurge, but it was also on my list and uh, on my wish list for this year. And I track all my expenses religiously and I stick to my budget. So I'm not worried about me and you don't need to be worried about me. It was a good purchase. All right. I'm going to go in order of when I got these things. So that was the one that I got first. And then two packages came in the mail yesterday. Technically, I got one before the other because one they brought to the front door and the other had to go out to the mailbox. Go figure. So 
this one is from a subscriber. Um, you all know her on Instagram and here uh, under Melangel Perry. I don't know how, how to even pronounce that, but um, I'll just put it up here somewhere. I asked her if I could um, shout her out and share this. So she had reached out to me via email and said, um, hey, can I send you or can I get your address? I have some doubles of things that are from Grace's collection. Some of the things like, if you are familiar with Grace Thomas's collection, um, they went all out. Like she has the most comprehensive collection. She had the most fanfare of any of the dolls that I know of. Like she had a movie event and like an exclusive cafe event that you could have like a Grace themed party. And um, so there are some things that you could only get if you went to those events. And she knew exactly what we were missing because she watched, this is going to be loud, give me just one second. Because she watched the video, and I can um, link it in the description, of a collection close-up that I did focusing on every single thing we have from Grace's collection. So, um, the subscriber watched that video and said, oh, I have doubles of a few things that you don't have in your collection, and I bet your wife would really like those, because Grace is all about Grace. Um, so she sent those things, and I am really excited to show you. And then she sent some things I was not expecting, so let's just look at these. If you want to see our whole collection, minus this stuff, of Grace items, you can watch that video. But here is a little luggage tag. It was like a craft that you could make. And then there was one that you could have for your doll to twin with you. Um, see? They're twinning. So, And there's the ribbon for this one. So the dolls will have to twin, which is adorable. This was so that you could pick which initial you wanted to put on your luggage tag. So we will probably change it out from a P to an A or to a C. Some extra stickers. Some more extra stickers for the cupcakery. These are, um, they say baked with love and um, it's like, so if you make homemade things, you can attach these when you give them as gifts to people if you bake some goods. Here is the American Girl Airlines ticket and it is a ticket from Boston to, I'm assuming to Paris, yes, there we go, to arrival Paris, from Boston to Paris. So that, I'm, I'm assuming, came with the movie watching event. There is a cardboard cutout doll. <laughs> Stuff is so cute. It doesn't have the back, but um, a movie poster. If they still did, like, this much of fanfare. Look at this. About Girl of the Year. That would be wild to me. I am definitely jealous of people who got to experience this. Uh, yeah, so jealous of people who got to experience it. Here's the DVD, but also really, really grateful that she sent us all this. This was so nice. She said, I know that it'll be appreciated. And I guess that's true. Like, what do you need doubles for? That was, but that was super thoughtful. A bookmark. Dress up popcorn with a secret ingredient. Ask an adult to help you make a big bowl of unbuttered popcorn at home. Then divide the popcorn into smaller bowls and mix it lightly with toppings like cinnamon and sugar garlic powder and grated Parmesan, cocoa mix, and more. So cute. And then there was this whole scene. Uh, hold on. So here is the cityscape. And then here is inside the bakery, the cupcakery, if you will. And then... This is the box that everything came in and looks like obviously like her storefront. There's some damage on this side, but you will not see me complaining. And if we do it from this side, you can't even see that damage. So this is so cute. I got to find out where we're going to put it, but uh, I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, and then, because she watched a video recently where I um, showed the Be Yourself, I think that's it, or Be Mine, I don't know, the B costume, um, and I didn't have the wings, she traced the wings and sent me a tracing so I would have the size, and she said, yellow top stitching here and black zigzag, zigzag stitching here, and it's just like so, that's so much effort, thank you. Um, and she knows all about sewing because she is a pattern tester and randomly sent me an outfit. Like what? When I tell you one other person, um, Josephine from AG Takes Over, sent me um, a Christmas card and with some little miniature cards that she had made and tucked in a Christmas shirt for the dolls. And I was like, who does this? Nobody does this for me that's so nice and then this yeah I, I I'm not used to people sending me things um, related to the channel so I mean I am not complaining look at this so I sent her a message and I was like I didn't know that you were sending me clothing did you make that she said yeah so look at this skirt this these pockets are lovely and the back it almost looks like shorts, like the front of shorts from here, but I, mean, I kind of wonder if I could pull it off, but it's a skirt with functional pockets. Yeah, super cute. I'm really excited about the top. I don't know why, I just love this top. There's stitching, I don't know how well it's showing up, but there's stitching right here See that? It's so cute. I cannot wait to put this on a doll. Like, ah! I said, you sent me an outfit. And she said, oh, I'm a wash in clothes. So I sent you along a little something. And I was like, I am a wash in clothes too, as you well know. And I'm happy to receive more. Yeah, no complaints here. So thank you. That was so nice. And I mean, I expected the um, gray stuff because you gave me a heads up, but I was not expecting something extra. How lovely. Um, and then the same day out in the mailbox, <laughs> had to walk all the way out to the sidewalk, um, I got a package with some Etsy stuff that I had recently ordered. So let me grab that bag. All right, so I ordered from Bella Boo's Closet. If you have watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of that shop. Everything is always like amazing quality. I get like, I completely understand why Etsy sellers often, um, like Etsy sewists of American Girl clothes often just have drops and very limited quantities. I completely get that. At the same time, it stresses me out. I don't want to be like chomping at the bit and trying to beat other people out for it and everything sells out in two seconds. Some people feed on that adrenaline. I <laughs> I'll do it occasionally, but most of the time I'm looking for some shops that just keep things stocked and Bella Boo's closet does that. So um, it's always nice to know I can go there and we'll be able to see plenty of things and have options and not have to wait until the next drop and hope that I luck out. So um, I have gift card money from Christmas. I specifically asked for Etsy gift cards from family um, members and they delivered. So I did not pay anything for these because I'm just using up gift cards. And you may laugh, because I bought a duplicate pair of jeans. Like, I already, it's that pair actually. See back there? Um, Willow is wearing, no, not Willow. Easton, Easton is, <laughs> they look so similar. Easton is wearing Bella Boo Closet jeans and this Bella Boo Closet crop turtleneck, mock turtleneck sweater. Guess what's in here? the same sweater in blue and the same jeans because I love them and I'm constantly stealing those jeans from one doll. Like I have taken them off of her three times because I want them for a photo shoot for a different doll. I love them so much. They're my favorite pair of jeans that we have for the dolls. And I was like, I have the gift card. I'm gonna order from them anyway. I'm just gonna get another pair of the jeans. So I did. So here they are. 
I'm sure they're not exactly the same because the distressing is not going to be exactly the same. Um, we can compare them. Hold on one second. Oh, look at that. The wash is not even the same. So style is completely the same, but totally different jeans. Look. Different enough for me, like same enough for me because I wanted these jeans, but different enough also. So, so this, I really like that sweater. Um, you all do too. Every time uh, we post pictures, lots of compliments about the sweater and the jeans. So I got it in blue. And I love this. Uh, no regrets. And then the last thing that I got was this pair of yellow pants. I just wanted something. Um, I wasn't really looking for anything patterned, but I wanted something a little bit bold and something that was not, you know, we have yellow leggings, but these are just so nice. Functional, but not deep pockets. Pockets on the back. Everything's really well made. I feel like these, um, like Bella Boo's, waistlines just fit they just lay really well they're not like bulky um i just love the fit i i think that the quality is superb shipping is always insanely fast and coming from canada it's actually not that pricey for for shipping to the united states so yeah 10 out of 10 recommend i will do a try on on one of the dolls with all of this stuff at the end so don't you worry let me grab the next things so what we have left is something that's coming in the mail so that I can twin with the dolls and then three things that I picked up this morning from Facebook Marketplace. So pause for a moment. By the way, this is natural lighting. It's such a rare treat for me to get to film in natural lighting. I love it. And I feel like, let me know if I'm wrong. I feel like my volume is coming across better. Usually like voiceover stuff super clear because I use a different microphone but when I'm on camera everybody's like it's so quiet it's so quiet I took the case off my phone and I feel like duh it now sounds louder <laughs> it took me over a year to go maybe I should just take off the case and try that better late than never anyway um, I was browsing Facebook Marketplace looking for a doll for someone else, for a fellow AGTuber, AGIGer, and um, trying to help her find her Grail doll. And I came across some outfits that were pretty near me. And all of them were new in box. Not, I don't know. One of them is definitely new in box. Two of them are. This may or may not. It, it wasn't like sealed, but um, in box. And it was an outfit that was on my, like, if I ever found it cheap enough, but it's definitely not a priority. Well, friends, it retails for $28, and it was $5, and it's in box. So that was definitely Price is Right. The little um, charm from Interstar University, still sealed. So I, I th I'm thinking this may not have ever been put on a doll. And it is the cycling outfit. So for those of you who are not familiar, it has spots back here. I think that this is for like water bottles or I'm not sure. I am not a cyclist. Let me know in the comments what this is for. This part is stretchy. This part is not. This is more like windbreaker material. AG does not make that many yellow items. And yes, it has purple, but it's like the dark, dark, like plum purple little AG on the sleeve there. But that is the jacket. It comes with shorts, little biker shorts, and these shoes. And I have an older American Girl bicycle, so I figured it's cute for outfit. Kind of looks like a hiking outfit as well. And um, $5. Are you kidding me? Like we could keep this for a couple of years, get all the photo shoots we want out of it, decide we don't use it all that often and sell it. And I could still sell it for more than what I paid for it. So $5. Yeah. 
it's a cute one. Um, another one, I wish they had this one that I would not mind getting is the full rock climbing outfit because I feel like they're maybe from a similar era, but yeah. They didn't have the rock climbing one, they had that one. And they had this one. So this was $38 originally and I got it for eight in box. This one's new in box, like... It's the lacrosse outfit. So let me get scissors out and we'll just open it up. Do I know anything about lacrosse? No. Can I pretend that a doll is into lacrosse? Yes. So. This is um, like a skirt with shorts on underneath. And it's just plain. It doesn't have a brand thing on it. It doesn't, it's just plain. It could be used for tennis. It could be used for whatever, for swimming. Um, I'm <laughs> really excited about this piece. Do people usually play lacrosse in like sports? Let me know in the comments because I definitely don't know much about sports. And then the shoes are like cleats. We live near a YMCA, like walking distance to a YMCA, and people do go over there for lacrosse practice, and they play cricket every Sunday. Not the same people. Um, again, the Interstar University charm is sealed. I'm going to leave them sealed because we don't collect those, so I'll probably just sell it. I know, I don't know. <laughs> it's worth a dollar with it without being sealed, and like two if it's sealed. They don't go for much anyway. Socks. These are fairly thick socks. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like AG socks are always really thick. But. And then some little ponytail holders. Lots of fuchsia. And then all of the actual sports equipment. So... This, I don't know what they call it. Hold on. They just call it a stick. They said stick, ball, and mask. So I don't think I actually need the scissors. Just wielding a weapon as I talk to you. So here is the mask. Here's the ball. My older daughter's friend in high school played lacrosse and her parents actually switched her to a different school because they had a more competitive lacrosse team. So apparently it's a big deal. But there. Sports ball! Yay! Again, $8. That's nothing that's nothing to have like a brand new outfit with that many pieces. That's shoes, top, bottoms, socks, hair ties, mask, stick, and ball. Like an eight piece outfit. I mean, counting socks as one piece and ponytail holders as one piece. An eight piece outfit for $8. Okay. And it's in the box. So if I want to resell it and it has all the stuff, easy to make my money back. All right, and then the last thing that um, I got this morning from the same seller it was really nice because it was like a 24 minute drive and Grace was still asleep. So my daughter and I drove out and got the stuff. This is for her, for the little one. And it is the Starry Doll Holder. So I think this retailed for $25 and I got it for eight and it's brand new this thing. So, um, yeah, like it was never mounted because this, this hardware is still, um, wrapped like sealed in the plastic. I don't know. People's kids grow out of the stuff before they even open them, I guess. But there, this always makes me think of the store 
um, like when you go into the store, they have these in the bathrooms and they have them like at the entrance to the cafe and like there are multiple, they're, um, metal. They're a little bit different than this, but I, it just always makes me think of the stores. So I think we're going to put this, I asked her if she wanted it in her bedroom or if she wanted it on the side of her dollhouse. And I think she's going to put it on the side of the dollhouse, which is great because then I don't have to use the anchors. I can just screw it directly into the wood. Good for mama too. So the last part will be in a different outfit, but um, that's it for me for now. I'm going to go ahead and get all the dolls dressed or get, you know, some dolls dressed in all of these clothing pieces and I'll take some pictures for you so you can see a nice little slideshow of that. And that's it. I'll come back on at the end to say bye to everybody, but let me go do that right now. Ta-da! That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you've gotten any good deals lately, if you're on a buying um, hiatus, if you're on a buy, if you're on a buying spree, whatever, just what's going on in your lives and how are you spending some time with your dolls lately? What are you doing fun with them? Take care, and I will see you again within a week.